closing in on first pitch tonight in the district. Pirates baseball starts right now. Time for baseball now on the show. As you get a look there at Nationals Park here in Washington, D.C., it's the opener of this three-game series between the Pirates and the Washington Nationals. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates as manager Clint Hurdle has his squad lined up like this. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Eric, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, they've been mired in a team-wide slump of late, as with the loss last time out, they've now dropped eight of their last nine decisions. And you know, the little things have been a recurring theme on these telecasts for years now, but when you're in a losing streak like this, no matter how minor it is, it always seems like the little things are going the other team's way. That has certainly been the case these last few games. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Andrew McCutcheon will stride in now, and as you see there, he sits ninth in the National League in batting at the start of play. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate take. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Denard Spann will get his first opportunity now. Currently sitting in fourth place in the National League in stolen bases. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. And he'll get in there safely. Nate McLeod will get his first opportunity here. And that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. And that is going to be a base hit for McLeod. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Well, here's a manager showing early on that he's not going to play it close to the best. They put the runner in motion, and this is the perfect hit and run. Now there's runners on the corners, and they're in a good spot to drive in the game's first run. Here's the full count offer. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Runners are at first and third with none out. The next 3-2. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next three, two. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Full count pitch on its way. And this is fouled back and out of play. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at-bat. Try it again, three and two. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Once again, a three, two. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. From the belt, the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Think about it, it's only taken them a few batters to equal what took them nine innings to produce last time out, and that's the one run. They're hoping this one won't be the last one, though, but at least that gets them out to an early 1-0 lead. The 2-2. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now, 3-2. and two. Eric, we look at this Pirate ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. They're already down a run in this one, so they're behind the eight ball again to start this game. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Swing and a liner, but foul. One, two. 
And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Second and third here, one man out. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Ian Desmond will step in now. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One for the Nationals on the RBI double. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 1-0 Washington. Pedro Alvarez will stand in. A big power threat here to say the least, currently third in home runs in the National League. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Josh Harrison will get his first shot now, and you can see how he's done over the course of this five-game hitting streak. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw to first will take care of them. Score at two to three on the put out and there are two gone now. Gregory Polanco will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. Taylor is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Down in order go the Pirates. They're down one nothing. Yunel Escobar will start things off in the bottom of the second. We'll move ahead now to the top of inning number four. Andrew McCutcheon will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here comes the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Where do you go from here. I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees. You won't come within a foot of it. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Pedro Alvarez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Here's the one, two. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? And hold that thought as that's a strikeout for route number three. So the inning will come to an end. Back with Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian. Here is Wilson Ramos that gets set to lead off the Nationals half of the inning. Time to pick this one up now in the top of inning number five. Corey Hart. See what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. You get the sense he's starting to nibble a bit at the corners here, and that's something he wasn't doing earlier. Yeah, and he sort of backed off the throttle a little bit too. I'm wondering if that home run ball might have changed his approach just a little bit. Payoff pitch home. Now a ball lying to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. You can see the pitching coach heading for the mound. And this is nothing more than just trying to reassure your guy and give him a chance to compose himself. He's been great so far, so there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. 
some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. So one run on three hits, including the home run. No errors. And three men left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up, all tied at one and one. Michael Taylor will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Due to time constraints, we'll pick this one up in the top of inning number six. Josh Harrison will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. And he misses two and one. A well, much better approach here at the plate so far. Now, he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at bats. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone! So a three-run shot to left center, number 10 for him on the year. And the Pirates move in front now, 4-1. to one. Well, this is a pitch he'd love to have back. You can see where it is, catching way too much of the plate. Now he's going to have to start this inning over from scratch, but with already three runs on the board. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. Your attention, Just five innings of work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. New pitcher coming on now, and it's the 6'4 right-hander out of UCLA, Casey Jansen. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the 1-1. Change up just off the black, and it's 2-1. and one. Ready with the 2-1. Here's a hard-hit ball that's going to get over the head of Desmond at short. It's a base hit. Batter, Jordy Mercer will come forward now. Jordy he has flied Mercer. out and singled so far. Now a move over to first, and the runner back safely. And another throw over. A dive, but he's back. And again a throw. Oh, and it throws him, and they got him. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. Chris Stewart will stand in. Base on balls his last time. The 1-1. One, one. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And this is a guy that needs to throw that curveball for strikes. Yeah, when he doesn't have command on it, that's when he has to lean on his fastball. And sometimes that'll get him in trouble. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two coming. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Three runs already home here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fouled back. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Full count now. Three and two. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The payoff pitch one more time. 
And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. The 3-2 one more time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw not in time to get him, and how about that? An unlikely infield single. Well, there have been some hard hit balls in the inning already, but this isn't exactly one of them, but it's going to work out well for him just the same as he reaches here with another hit in the inning, and this one's just an infield single. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Corey Hart will stand in. The eighth batter in the inning as he'll get a shot with two on and two out. The 1-1. One, one. Way outside. Nearly to the backstop. Two and one. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Hit hard on the ground is short. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Bucks out in front, four to one. Nate McLeod will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zeros since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Time to move ahead to the top of inning number seven. Andrew McCutcheon will get another crack, one for three thus far. The 1-1 one -one now to McCutcheon. And this is hit hard up the middle. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seven. Pedro Alvarez will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. Oh, the good curveball there, and it's three and two. EK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work a corner. I'm not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. And down to first goes Alvarez as that misses for ball four. Jerry Blevins will be summoned into the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases are loaded with nobody out. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Come on, get the two. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. This is lined into the gap in left center, and he's going to come through here with extra bases. One run is scored. McCutcheon scores. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. And he will score as well. It's a three-run double in definite breathing room now as they add on to their lead. Well, he got thrown into the lion's den. Coming in with the bases loaded. The tough task to begin with, but this won't help things any as he serves up the double here. And as a result, all three runners are going to come around to score. Here he comes on 3 1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, and it's full now at 3 and 2. Full count pitch on its way. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Jordy Mercer will dig in. He singled his last time around. Here's the 1-1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Oh, and the spin! And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow! Chris Stewart will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Here comes the 1-1. Here's a called strike on the curveball. One and two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. The 1-2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. It's stretch time here in our nation's capital. Pirates on top, 7-1. to one. 
Ian Desmond will dig in. 0 for 2. He's fly down and popped out so far. Michael Taylor will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Has a look, now the pitch. And there's ball two now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. And it looks like we'll have a pinch hitter now as Ian Stewart's grabbed the bat as he begins loosening up on deck. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Denard Spann will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game to this point as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still has to I'll hold that thought as the play is made out there for out number three and the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Craig Stammen will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Make a fourth plate appearance tonight, and why not? He's been in command. We'll move ahead in this one and pick up the action in the bottom of inning number nine. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 and two now. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Ian Desmond will get another crack, one for three thus far. The three one is on the way. Now a sinker this time, but this ball stays outside as he loses him here, it's ball four. Yunel Escobar will stand in 0 for two in the ball game so far. A little bit outside, two and one. Hey, you gotta be kidding me, I, I cannot believe he's still in there. Oh, and just a sec now as that pitch gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Brad Lincoln will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Michael Taylor will stand in now and hey, give these guys credit. They're not going down without a fight. I'll tell you what, they're not too far away from making a game out of this one after all. And we're going to see a pinch hitter in this spot as the right-handed batting Kevin Franzen begins to loosen up on deck. Chopper foul. Here comes another 0-2. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. And he's going to put this one away, and the Pirates have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's a good job to come right out here and set the tempo for this series as they finish off a good road victory here in game one. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And quite a lot of offense in this one, but if we had to highlight one guy that made the difference, there he is. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award, but what the heck, let's go ahead and give it to this guy. He's as deserving as anybody.
closing in on first pitch in our nation's capital. Pirates baseball starts right now. Afternoon baseball now from the banks of the Anacostia River in Nationals Park here in Washington. Today, it's game two of a three-game weekend set between the Pirates and the Washington Nationals. Starling Marte will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. Sinker is right there for a called strike two. Eric, you take a look at the home nine as they enter play here this afternoon. They've been in a serious tailspin of late, winning just once in their previous 10 games. And this is taken for a called third strike as the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. One out, nobody on. Here's the 1-2. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so we'll need to go to first. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. Down low, two balls and a strike. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Starting lineup for Washington looks like this. Ian Desmond steps in now. Now here's the pitch. Inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four. Nate McLeod will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it, down in the 220s to begin the ball game. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Jason Wirt will get his first opportunity now. Ready on two and one. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Now a shot toward the gap in left center, and this will find the gap as Marte and McCutcheon chase this thing out to the wall. Desmond's around third, heading for the plate. And the run will score as the Nats are off to a one nothing lead. Anthony Rendon will get his first opportunity now. And as you see there, he's in need of something to go his way because he's been ice cold these past eight ball games. To two balls and two strikes now. Eric, we take a look at the Pirates as they take the field here this afternoon. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, they still find themselves stuck in third place in the division, but this is an important stretch for these guys. And if they can string a few victories together, a chance to get back into it. Now the 1-1. One, one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. One, two. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. The two, two coming. Swing and a hard liner to center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Junel Escobar will try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. The 1-1 one, one on its way to Escobar. 2-1. and one. This is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count. That alone can be beneficial to an offense. Strike two called, and it's even at two. 2-2. Two, two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Second inning upcoming from our nation's capital. It's the Nationals two, and the Pirates nothing. Pedro Alvarez will stand in. 
A big power threat here to say the least, currently third in home runs in the National League. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. Here comes the one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. The two, two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Another 2-2 offering. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Josh Harrison will stride forward now, looking to keep that hit streak alive. Currently at six games entering play. And now a pitch on the way. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. Gregory Polanco will stand in, and he was a big part of the win last night as he contributed three hits to his guy's effort. Won't go after the 2-1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. And with the tying run in the on-deck circle, the question, does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. Jordy Mercer will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time. One and two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. The 1-2. One, now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Michael Taylor will stand in hoping to turn things around. In that ball game. Time to move forward to the bottom of inning number three. Anthony Rendon will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground, but foul. Here he comes on 3-1. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here's the full count offering. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. The payoff pitch one more time. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And the runner is in from second. And he will score as well. They've doubled their lead now to 4 nothing. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. Up high, 2-1 now. You know, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. Pitch taken for ball four, the throw. Yunel Escobar will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Ground ball to second, this could be two. And he is in there. you're already losing, the one thing you can't do is give away more runs. You're already in the hole. The last thing you want to do is keep digging, but that's what's happening right here. Things are going from bad to worse. Jose Lobaton will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. Next offering from Liriana will make an even 70 pitches thus far. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Oh, that's a tough take, but a good one. The pressure's still squarely on the pitcher out there. He's still got to come in. I'll hold that thought as the play is made out there for out number three, and the side is retired. 
So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. Three innings complete. Nationals on top, five to nothing. The one one. Swing and a tapper out in front. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Andrew McCutcheon will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Now the one two. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one two delivery. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Pedro Alvarez will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he misses two and one. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. You know, that's more than the rest of these guys can say. Two one pitches, a sinker swung on and missed two and two. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came out of his shoes on that one. And this misses, so that'll fill the count in three and two. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the ship. You don't want to make it easier for a guy. And hold that thought as that's a strikeout for route number three, so the inning will come to an end. Doug Fister will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Time to pick this one up now in the top of inning number five. Into the on-deck circle now is Corey Hart as he'll be called on to pinch hit here. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Boy, that change-ups had him eaten out of his hand. Oh, and they've been falling all over themselves trying to get it. But you've just got to know that that's not going to be a strike. It looks like it is, but it isn't. Come set, now the pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Brandon Compton is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Due to time constraints, we'll pick this one up in the top of inning number six. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Pedro Alvarez will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. And he struck him out. The 10th victim sat down on strikes thus far. Josh Harrison will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. The 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. And guys, I think the heavy stuff has arrived. This has got to be as hard as we've seen all afternoon. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Ian Desmond will stand in, and he'll lead off in the... And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Josh Harrison will get another crack, one for three thus far. 0-2 is a fastball that misses inside, one and two now. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. 
And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Gregory Polanco will stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Worth will move over toward the line, but this is back up into the seats and out of play. The 0-2 once more. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. and two. And now this crowd, a bit over 30,000 strong, comes to their feet. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Here he comes again, 1-2. A hard hit ball back up the middle. Who is left? Here's Desmond. Throw on to first is going to be in time. And the Nationals have put an end to their four game slide as this ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge essentially from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, he really came through with a dominating pitching performance. You see there, 12 strikeouts, and that doesn't even tell the whole story. That was as good as I've ever seen him pitch. For the Pirates, no runs. A great afternoon for baseball from Washington, D.C. Stay tuned for Pirates Baseball, next. Time for baseball now on the show. As you get a look there at Nationals Park here in Washington, D.C. One for the dads here as we get you set for this Father's Day matchup between the Pirates and the Washington Nationals. Starling Marte will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. Now the 1-1. One, one. Slider, oh look out as that one just about took his nose off. Eric, you take a look at the home side here as they take the field here this afternoon. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And it's been a little bit of a rocky start to the home game. Just one win to show for their first four games. I think it starts with a pitching got to get a good performance out of this starter. They want to turn around their fortune. One, two. To two balls and two strikes now. And I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? And oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in. And he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, you... And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. Starting lineup for Washington looks like this. 
Denard Spann will stand in now. Speed is definitely a big weapon in his arsenal. He currently sits third in the National League stolen base chase. And Walker's throw is right there for route number one. Well, that's a nice job right there to readjust to that curveball. I don't know if he was sitting on it or what, but he certainly hit it hard. Unfortunately for him, right at someone. Grounded foul, still two strikes. Another 1-2 delivery. And a pitch taken by McLaugh, and it's back to 2-2 two and two now. E.K., as we take a look at our visiting club as they take the field here in this scoreless ballgame. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. And it's been a less than amazing start to the road trip, too. They've won just one of their first four games, so they'll be looking to turn that around here. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. There to pull it in is Alvarez, and there are two gone now. Jason Wirt will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now the 3-1. Fastball in there, 3-2. and two. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. Here's the full count offer. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Another full count pitch home. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Once again, a 3-2. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So nothing in the Washington half of the first. We're through an inning at Nationals Park, still scoreless. Pedro Alvarez will stand in. A big power threat here to say the least, currently third in home runs in the National League. And this is swung on and missed, and Alvarez is sent packing for the first down. Josh Harrison will take his first cut to the ball game here. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And now a pitch on the way. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. Turned out to be a good take. Gregory Polanco will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Jordy Mercer will dig in now, and he, like many others, was held hitless in the shutout yesterday afternoon. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. 1-2 one and two as he chases the slider. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's the 1-2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Pirates leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. Anthony Rendon will dig in now, just hoping for something to go his way. As you can see, that has not been the case these last nine ball games. Time to move forward to the bottom of inning number three. Taylor Jordan. We'll step in, and with nobody out, we'll see if they want to let him swing the bat or try to bunt that runner on to third. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Oh, man, what a terrific play right there. That ball was rolling, and it stayed low, so he had to bend all the way over to make a barehanded grab, then a quick release, a nice throw to first in time to get the runner. You can expect to see that on highlight reels for a couple days at least now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. 
And that's going to find a crease for extra bases, and it ought to open up this lead to two. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. And he will make it in at third. He's got himself a one-out triple. Nate McLeod will dig in now with two runs already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Here comes the one-two. Here's a ball hit foul down the third baseline, so they'll try it again. He'll try again, one-two. And he'll try to entice him with the changeup here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Jason Worth will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And this is a guy that needs to throw that curveball for strikes. Yeah, when he doesn't have command on it, that's... I'll hold that thought as the play is made out there for out number three, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. The Nationals are out in front here, two to nothing. Here it comes. And this is swung on. Missed in this fourth inning. will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Andrew McCutcheon will try it again. He flew out his first time. Strike three called. And that is back-to-back -back punch outs here in the inning. Three in a row total, and there are two away. Pedro Alvarez will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Fastball called strike, one and two. You talk about coming back with a shutdown inning. How about striking out the side to give your guys a little bit of a lift? He's one pitch away from doing just that. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Anthony Rendon will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a hard liner towards short, and he'll have himself a base hit. Wilson Ramos will dig in. Popped out his first time. Dan Ugla will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. Grounded foul. Two runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. A curveball hit right back at him. Throw on to first is going to get him, and the Nationals blow an opportunity here, and that ends the inning. Nats leave a pair, but they're on top two to nothing. Josh Harrison will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Gregory Polanco will dig in. He singled his first time around. This is lifted the other way out to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Jordy Mercer will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now the payoff pitch home. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. One out and a runner on second base. Payoff pitch one more time. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. McLeod will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Chris Stewart will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. The 1-1. Had to reach for that one as it's grounded toward the hole. And he'll just slap the tag on the runner between second and third to end the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. 
More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Taylor Jordan will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Jason Worth will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And this one gets away. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. The one-two. And a swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball and the inning is over. One left for Washington, but they hold a two-nothing lead. Steve Lombardozzi will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Here's the pitch. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Starling Marte will step forward now. Lined out and popped out in his previous two trips. The 1-1. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game, because right now they just seem out of it. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. 1-1 one, one on the way. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. Ready with the 2-1. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to 3-1. and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now, because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. In to cut it off is worth. It's a base hit. And a good at-bat there as that, in fact, stretches his hitting streak out to nine games now. Andrew McCutcheon will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Three and one now, and I think he wanted to know where that one was. Well, as if things weren't bad enough, he's in danger now of loading the bases for that man. Yeah, I don't think that's ever a sound strategy in anybody's book. The Ugla for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One left for Pittsburgh. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Vance Warley will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Anthony Rendon will stand in and he'll lead off in the Washington sixth. Kevin Franzen will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Full count pitch on its way. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Dan Ugla will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Big pitch here, one and two. And now this ball is crushed down the line in left, and he'll be kicking himself on that one as it's going to hook foul into the seats. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Throw on to first is going to get him, and the Nationals blow an opportunity here, and that ends the inning. Nats leave a pair as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's 1-2. and two. Living a little dangerously here. Yeah, you don't have to go looking for trouble. Trouble will find you if you're putting pitches Whoa. there. To two balls and two strikes now. Now the pitch. Strike. Got him. Four. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Josh Harrison will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Ball hit high to the right side. 
But this will get into the seats foul. Now the one two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw in time at first for out number two. Gregory Polanco will dig in. He doubled his last time. Now the pitch. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. And that is going to be a base hit. Jordy Mercer will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 thus far. Ready on 2 and 1. Swing and a liner. But this is going to get foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw in time and the side is retired. Pirates leave one. They're down two to nothing. Taylor Jordan will buy himself another at bat. And in turn, he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen, and I don't blame them. Chris Stewart will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there. And he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. That's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. It's been free and easy the whole way through. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Oh, and he misses it. Well, the only silver lining here is that the batter doesn't get any further than first base, but boy, that looked like a ball that should have been caught. I don't know what went wrong there. Here comes a 1-2. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. Neil Walker will dig in. He singled his last time around. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus far. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Nationals on top, two to nothing. Brad Lincoln is on out of the bullpen now, as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Jason Worth will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole. Hitless in his three at bats so far. And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Pedro Alvarez will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. The right hander deals on one and two. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Here's another one, too. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take this on to first, and they're down to their final out, two away. Josh Harrison will stand in now with their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Up high, two and one now. Now here's the pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. And the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout.
Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top's player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a few times, and he winds up with a complete game shutout.